everyone. You let me know you were ready for another what's in my pen case and I sort of hesitated to do this again right now because I'm a little bit afraid that when I do these it's always the same pens. So we'll see. I have a couple different pen cases going right now. A Milu for more like my everyday work stuff and then when I'm doing my homework I have some pens in here that are kind of specific to my homework and to be honest things switch around back and forth so I'll kind of try to describe as I'm going through them what I use these pens for. I get in trouble by you when I don't swatch a lot so I will be swatching and why don't we start with kind of like this regular Milu. And because I know I'm gonna get some questions about it, this Milu is in coral pink. And this is a actually a sheep leather, is that right? Yeah, and so it's super soft. I love the last batch of Milu we got. I think like half the colors have sold out. I believe we still have coral pink and hot pink, a beautiful green and a blue. And if you are interested in certain colors that I'm not selling right now, why don't you let me know and I'll try to see if he can get leather in those colors and get somewhere made for you. So, oh, and I can already see things that migrated from there to here. So let me just move this over. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of commingling here. Okay, well anyway, where should I start? Well, this is one of my current favorites and I love it so much I broke the thing off of it. Actually, I always have always have like tons of these, so I probably have another, oh, I do have another one in here, see? Okay, let me tell you. So this is the Acrobat color, which is pretty new to our store. This is Acrobat color in violet, and one of the reasons I love it so much is that it is a really good dupe, believe it or not, for the Pilot High Tech C in lavender, which they don't make anymore. But let me tell you, it was that color. And the Acroball is one of those hybrid inks that's super smooth. So I just really enjoy it. It is a 0.5, which is kind of more like a 0.4 gel. So if you like fatter tips, this might not be the thing for you because they only make it in 0.5. But if you miss that 0.3 or 0.4 high taxi lavender, oh my gosh, you will love this. And I always have this around it. So this is a Marks Inc. clip, you know, that goes on a notebook. And I actually was using this before my thing broke off. That's probably how my thing broke off. I think I kept like clipping it on here, which was like stretching it way too wide. Cause see how thick this is? But the pink one I think is gorgeous. It's super cool with this purple and it's just super handy. And this one goes on the top. Whereas the difference between the Marks Inc one and the Midori one is the Midori one goes on the side. So, you know, it's your preference. In any case, I highly recommend this Acrobal color. And apparently it took me three minutes to talk about the first pen. So I'm gonna go faster. All right, so I, you know what? I will do a whole video about these play color dot, but basically it's the Tombow play color with 0.3 millimeter on one end and an actual dot stamp on the other. These are awesome for planning and note taking. I cannot tell you enough awesome things about them. And sorry, I blobbed it a little bit, but they very consciously made uh, the the ink for the dot stamp part is a little is like a shade lighter than the ink over here so that you can do kind of like design inside the dot which I thought was a really good idea this is the Prera except with a calligraphy nib I have been loving the calligraphy nib just for like, I'm just gonna, sp I, I cannot talk and like write at the same time, so I'm just spelling some random thing. But I've been really enjoying the calligraphy nib just for, I don't know, certain notes and headers and I've just been enjoying it. I think it's fun, it's a little different. I've got, 
I discovered these were really good just for writing. I left a violet one at my friend's house and she was like, oh, you left a pen at my house and I like stole it because I love it so much. And she was using it for everyday writing and I never really thought about using the Juice Up Metallics just for everyday writing because I think of them as being so awesome on black, but they're really awesome on, you know, light colors too. So anyway, this is the Pilot Juice Metallic in pink. And I'm just swatching it for you because people keep telling me, hey, it's a big teaser when you show pens and you don't swatch them. So this is the metallic green. All right, um, I have a Uniball Signo DX in one of the new colors, khaki. This is a fun color. I'm surprised they did it like this because khaki in Japan is usually a green. It's like khaki green. This is one of the Kirarich Disney princesses. I use this sparkly pink highlighter when I'm studying all the time. And so normally it actually goes over here. Um, I recently did a video about these. So if you wanna go watch my video about the Funwari Fude color, I think it was in my new brush pens and planner accessories video. Why don't you go over there and I do all the swatching over there. The Zig Clean Color Real Brush, oh my gosh, I love this. And this one is in Sugared Almond Pink. And this one's really cool because it kind of like, I feel like these a little bit change color as you lay them down. I don't know if that makes sense what I'm saying, but I really have been loving this. These are the new and limited edition hybrid dual metallics. We sold out of these really fast. I'm sorry about that. We are trying to get more. So there might be another chance to buy them from us. And actually I swatched all these. Didn't I swatch these in another video? But they're awesome. And if you wanna know more about them, you can go look at that video. This is another one of my favorite brush pens. This is the Kude Take Zig Brushables. It is incredible. This one's in Lunar Lavender. This has probably been in my pen case video before. The two brush pen ends with one end slightly darker than the other, but the same color. So it's like this. And sorry, I'm just kind of doing this fast. If you want to do really nice brush lettering, you should go slowly. But I just want to show you the different color. This is my all-time favorite brush pen. This is the Kude Take, I think it, was it called the brush pen number eight? I will link it below. But it is a beautiful body and it is refillable with cartridges, which most brush, most brush style pens are not. So this is super cool. So I've used this a ton and I still haven't had to replace it. So if you're doing finer, like smaller letters, this one is actually really nice for that too because it has a, a relatively fine brush style tip. So if you compare it, to like this end, you can see the difference in size. Does that make sense? Okay. So, hope I'm not going too quickly. I don't want to take too much time. I'm almost done with this regular one. Got some pretty stuff done here. Oh, well, it wouldn't be a what's in my pen case without the Sarasa Grand in gold. And I probably, let me see what I have in this. Oh, I have a gray in here right now. I almost always have blue gray. So the Sarasa Clip Refill, you can get any of those, but the really fun colors, you can't get them in the refill version. So you have to buy like the full Sarasa Clip pen, which is only like $1.70, it's not a big deal. And you take the insert out and you put it in the Sarasa Grand. The Sarasa Grand I think is like 16 or 16.60. It is a awesome affordable pen for the quality that it is. I highly recommend it. And there are new colors coming out soon, like maybe November, December. So stay tuned for those new colors. I will do a whole video about that when it comes out because I will be so excited. I won't be able to not do it. I did a whole video about the new Coletto barrels. Go take a look if you're interested. This is one I built in the video and I've just been using it. Oh, another play color dot, this one in mint green. You're actually, they tell you you're supposed to go down and then lift, like, lift to the side like that. I think when you lift straight up, you end up with that blob, see? 
And then the training materials I got, you're supposed to like rock it up. See how much better that works out? And see how the point three end is darker than the stamp end. So you can do all kinds of cool, cute things with this. Um, our resident artist, Julia, was doing some super cool stuff. I have some of these Moji liners. This one's in the, the frog mouth purse and <laughs> Gamaguchi, the Gamaguchi pouch, and has the yen coin. So I like this one. I think of it as payday, which is my favorite day, even though I pay myself, which is weird. Okay, I don't know why I just got weird like that. And then this one is kind of one of the metallic ones. Anyway, Moji Liner is cool. If you haven't tried Moji Liner yet, you should totally check it out. One of my favorite uses for it is in my bullet journal, you know how you, I don't know if you do it this way, but I do, like I have a section for every day. So when I'm done at the end of a day, I will do Moji Liner to like separate when the next day starts. Does that make sense? Probably. Okay, and finally, I have a super bold, I think this is my super bold Kaweco Sport, which I was using because I was trying to learn how to make bubble letters. But I have no patience, so I never really got very far. But the super fat nib, even though I'm not really a fat nib person, the super fat nib is fun when you need to do bubble letters for something. So I will link to all the products that we have below. I think we have like pretty much everything I have here. And then let me just go right over to my study supplies. So where do I even begin? I have tons of erasable stuff in my study supplies. So let me, maybe I could, this is a Del Day case. I don't think we have this exact variant anymore. We have a lot of the polka dotted ones, which are actually cuter than this one, but. Okay, so let me tell you. Oh, I see what happened here. This one is usually over here and I'll tell you why. Okay, so here are a bunch of erasable REs in different colors. So I think as I mentioned in a previous video, I am currently back in a post back program. I am studying computer science and right now I'm in a coding class for C++. So I end up, ha uh, color coding is super helpful to me and erasing is super helpful to me. So I am just going crazy about erasable pens. So I've been using these REs, which are actually sent to me as testers. <laughs> This is a great erasable pen. I have done a whole video about this, haven't I? Um, but let me just, let me just show you. I'll zoom on in on this paper maybe at the end. So I've been color coding with these. Also, there are some limited edition bodies, which we should all have right now. Hopefully I'm not teasing you. We've got Alice, Ariel, and Hello Kitty which were kind of my favorites that I've been using. These all come with black ink, but you can put you know, other ink colors inside them if you're not into the black ink. And remember, the erasable black ink is really off black. It is a gray. Why don't I show you? Oops, what am I thinking? Okay, this is Alice. So see how it's more, it actually is very close to the Uniball Signo DX dark gray. So think of it as a dark gray and then you won't be annoyed that it's light. But if you want super erasable ink like that, you're gonna have to accept the trade-off that it's not jet black. Okay. We just got these and immediately I was like, I want those too. <laughs> but there are eight cute new variants, okay. So that's the Uniball RE erasable, which is comparable to the Friction, which I totally love. So I use this one, four color Friction, and I generally fill it with different colors, but I think this one all has the standard one right now. It's not that exciting. Here, I'll show you so I don't get in trouble. Okay.
It's really kind of pretty, I think, even though they're standard colors. So I'll show you. See how easily that erases? Ha! Oh, amazing, right? Okay, so my favorite, though, is the Friction Ball to Biz, which is really nice. Your eraser's hidden under the cap there. I have this in the pink and this gorgeous gray color. And actually it just came out in an ice blue and a snow white. Oh my God, I want one of every color. They're amazing, but it's not a cheap pen. So I have to be like realistic. Anyway, what I always do is I take out the black and the red that comes in it and I put in violet and wine red just cause I think it's so pretty. So let me show you. Here's the violet, is that not gorgeous? And like I said, I need to use these when I'm, you know, doing my coding homework and just writing notes because I'm constantly making mistakes and I need to erase and also the color coding helps me a lot, which is why they're a little bit better than a pencil for me right now. So let me just show you, I can erase. Easy breezy. Has everyone seen everything okay? Okay, what do I have left here to tell you about? Oh yeah, the Kakuno. I should do a whole separate video about this. That's what I'll do. The Kakuno now comes in extra fine. All of the soft colors come in extra fine and the transparent comes in extra fine. And the other new thing is that they now have transparent, which is really cool because it can look like a really cool, what is that called? De demonstration pen? That's what it's called, right? And the transparent comes in extra, the new extra fine size, fine and medium. So all three of those sizes. And what is really cool is the new converter 70, which holds like twice as much ink as the existing converter 40. Even though Pilot doesn't advertise that that is compatible with the Kakuno, it is. You could totally fit it on there. I use it no problem holds twice as much ink and it's all, it's like all transparent. So it looks super cool inside the Kakuno and it has a super cool filling mechanism that is like a, a pump, like a click top pump. If you're, if you're just, you need, you need to get an extra fine transparent Kakuno with the click pump, unless, <laughs> unless you really know you won't like extra fine and then, but still you need to get a transparent Kakuno with the pump. I'm, I'm gonna do a whole video about that. Okay, so um, that's what that is. And I got my Mogulaire. That's kind of like my pencil of choice right now. This is not for everybody. It has a, a how do I say, it? like a bouncy feeling to it. I love it, not everyone loves it. This is, this dual color is actually called Violet. I just really like it and so I've been using that. I've been using it with, this is a limited edition Zebra Maki black eraser that actually comes in this whole set of all kinds of fun stuff. And then, but anyway, so this is my color combo for the month and actually this is normally over here so. Sorry, but this is my color combo for the month. Before I show you my color combo for the month that I love so much, let me zoom in here so you can see my swatching. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my color combo for the month because I love it so much. So my color combo for the month is Bordeaux, Uniball Signo DX Bordeaux Black 0.38. It would not be a Kimberly's pen case video without this color. If you do not yet own this, please get it. <laughs> the blue black. I think I might have Instagram this combo when I discovered it because I was like, oh, it's the best ever. Dark gray, which almost beats out how much I love the Bordeaux Black, but not quite. <laughs> and the khaki. And these together have been such a great fall color combo in my planner and in my bullet journal. Um, and so I'm just really excited about that color combo. So here it is. If you're looking for a fun fall color combo, this is it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this pin case video. It's already 20 minutes long. Have a wonderful day, bye-bye.